so when i started doing my mba uh, preparation and uh, you know i was stopping my pre cats and i was like on my high i have a great cv i've been a college you know leader and mai to i am hi jane wala hu yaar matlab clear hai it's like that's where i'm going to be my brother made me fill the nmims form because it is so close to home and he said dude it's a good college kya keh raha hai you know just fill it up i said no it's a good college but uh, tujhe honda city pasand hai mujhe ferrari pasand hai होंडा सिटी भी अच्छी गाड़ी है कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है बट फरारी मिले तो बहुत बढ़िया है तो मैं तो फरारी लेने जा रहा हूँ आई आई ओनली गॉट एन एडमिशन कॉल फ्रॉम एन एम आई एम एस इन माई एम बी ए टू फोर्टी स्टूडेंट्स इन आर बैच माई रैंक वॉज टू थर्टी सिक्स और टू थर्टी सेवन इन माई फर्स्ट सेमेस्टर इन माई एम बी ए आई फ्लंक अ पेपर आई सम ऑफ माई फ्रेंड्स हैड टू गो एंड यू नो बेग सम ऑफ अ प्रोफेसर के इसको पास कर दो बिकॉज आई जस्ट वॉज एन अकेडमिक काइंड ऑफ पर्सन विच कंपनी डी ज्वाइन बी एन पी पार अब एंड एंड ऑल माई फैमिली टू थिंग ऑन पी एन बी पी एन बी पंजाब नेशनल बैंक बी एन पी I mean I know him actually for almost 18 19 years there is some similarity uh, you know I- I- with respect to him and me which is that you know we both kind of quit our corporate jobs very soon enough and decided to start something of our own I think it's interesting to try and understand what was his thought process you know when he made the career choices that he made so without any further ado can I please request Kavardeep Singh to come on stage please a big round of applause guys Thank you. Thank you for the wonderful introduction. You want to try and uh, make here? yourself comfortable. Okay. It's not easy to be comfortable in front of a crowd, right? So, but I'll try my best. So, cover. You know, let's start with your uh, journey. I mean, in terms of you were uh, always you were born and brought up in Mumbai. Yeah. And what pushed you towards going and joining a commerce college? Did you want to become a chartered accountant? Commerce just happened. Uh, like with a lot of us back then i didn't get enough marks to be in a top uh, science college i was getting admission in nm which was 2 km away from my house my brother was studying in nm and my parents said yahi kar lo bhai ko bhi kuch malum hoga so you know we'll be able to probably guide the career better somewhere uh, you know commerce also made sense uh, for my family back then uh, not to blame them i i don't think i i had particularly fought for something i just went with the flow father was into business uh, so maybe he thought that you know what will science really help so maybe commerce may be useful <laughs> so yeah i guess i don't have very clear memories but i think i just happened to enter commerce simply by what marks came my way so, so did you ever decide to uh, take up chartered accountancy as a professional career my brother the chartered accountant uh, i saw his life and i said no i won't <laughs> i can't do that i just couldn't get myself to uh, do what they were able to do uh, as a chartered accountant the uh, amount of hours they put in so so what would you have done you know after taking up commerce 97 i entered college 97 98 at that time you just enter college because that's what you do right so at least uh, there wasn't so much of exposure uh, back then uh, maybe now things are different but uh, i think around uh, when i was my first year second year we were fortunate to see a lot of new companies coming in and you were seeing people doing their mbas and in nine, in the early 90s you didn't hear much about mba but early 2000 you started hear about mba you started hear about people you know getting into companies so you suddenly get a lot more passionate okay yaar ye shayad main bhi kar sakta hu and you know this is what i want to do uh and maybe uh something in the space of business uh, my family is in, in it was in a business space so i never wanted to join the business uh and i eventually didn't do that as well but uh, so you think that you will do something in a job yeah. what was that business about we in the textile space now when i say it i feel bad because you know you're 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 too arrogant sometimes in your younger days 
एंड यू कैन से थिंग्स लाइक दैट बट हमारा सब कुछ आया उसी बिजनेस से तो सो आई गेस टू आर गेंट बैक देन बट आई गेस आई डेंट वॉन्ट डू अ क्लॉथ बिजनेस सिंपल दैट वाई यू लाइक द एम्बिशियस काइंड दैट और फॉर यू आर जस्ट लाइक के जो मिलेगा करते जाएंगे देखते जाएंगे आई वॉज वेरी एम्बिशियस बिकॉज आई वेरी आई हैड अ टफ स्कूल लाइफ आई वॉज अ स्ट्रगलर इन स्कूल आई वॉन्टेड टू रिकग्निशन आई वॉज हंगरी फॉर रिकग्निशन आई वॉन्टेड यू नो पीपल टू लाइक मी एंड सम हाउ इट डेंट वर्क आउट इन स्कूल फॉर मी आई वॉज इन अ बॉय स्कूल एंड आई थिंक आई गोट जस्ट दर एक्ट समाइम्स इन स्कूल वैन आई आई डेंट हैव द कॉन्फिडेंस इवन टू करेक्ट पीपल वैन दे mispronounce my name so my name is kanwar deep but there's an n so the n is a nasal sound but uh, everybody in school called me kanwar and i i didn't have the confidence to correct that as well when i entered college i said boss this is new life i have this is the opportunity and i need to ch- turn things around at the end of my school life uh, around last two years i realized that i was good at extra curriculars i participated in a debate i did participated in elocution competitions tell us about your college days because again my you were i think in your final year or you passed out by the time i entered so i only saw you as an alumnus coming back and talking you almost spoke with like a passion and a fire for the kind of things that you were doing it's difficult to think of somebody who got bullied in school or who was uh, who had a tough school life because you were so dominant that's probably been my my way of uh, uh, things over over the last 20 years as well you know you get an opportunity to start fresh you you start off and you you kill everything else before that in your mind because uh, so often it's the weight of your own experience that that is pulling you down you know there's really nothing there it's like you know a common thing i tell people it's the meaning is given by you so i have the meaning of my school life uh, nobody else knows it right so correct i am carrying that weight me with me and i think when i decided that i need to knock it off i actually made fun of myself sometimes uh, because i wasn't the most presentable you know they were much more smarter good looking what we typically sobo kids uh, you know bandra uh, um, boys and girls i was from a boys school i didn't know uh my when we, <laughs> when we first entered college we became a gang of 12 boys that's oh god this can't happen <laughs> so uh so i had to quickly change and uh, change my approach so but i think the minute i said that i'm not going to carry the weight of you know what happened uh, for for me in terms of what i wanted out of my school life and i didn't get not that a very difficult one but not what i would have ideally liked and that just changed the game for me and i was very confident i just uh, believed that uh, you know this is this five years i want to make it count even if it was one person attendance what all did you do in college and, and and how do you think that shaped you in your career now i just i just kept myself available for everything i think uh, and i do that even now i've tried lots of things over the years and uh, not been good at almost all of them but i continue to keep trying new things so back then you know you you had these small uh, groups right your forums and student forums and planning forums and this and that i just somebody came and uh, you know said ke are we are from planning forum and why don't you join and you know they come for 10 rupee 5 rupee membership i was excited okay i want to be part of a club uh, that sounded exciting so that's how i got into it see we get like thousands of cvs you know every month mm. either people trying to apply for roles at our company or even for some of our partner companies right so mm. a lot of people say ke are yaar har ek ke cv pe college festival hota hai har ek ke cv pe clubs hote hai committees hote hai etc yeah. what i'm trying to get at is why is extra curriculars important and people so so one thing is that people say ke mere resume pe ye char cheez likhi hui hai so i will get a better job and a lot of people do it in a transactional way obviously yeah. the way you are talking about it it doesn't sound like you are doing it for a in a transactional way you probably enjoyed doing what you are doing Yeah I think the minute you think of the transaction the person on the other side can see it through in terms of interviews you have opportunities to drop hints to your interviewer of what you want them to ask and if you just have one line I was a participant in some event and you mentioned that and you know that's a that's a opportunity for interview to ask because the interview also is trying to figure out what to ask you that something to know about you right so they trying to figure out what you what what you are all about if you don't have anything to talk about after the fact that yeah i participated it was very nice i learned so much from it the interview knows you know there's nothing more there because you dropped a hint about a topic and you didn't have enough to talk about after that in my experiences of what i had my in my resume i could talk on that topic for half an hour and that's what is important if i come to the college festival specifically umang when you are in college you feel like your college festival is the biggest on the planet i remember we used to market it uh, at one point of time saying that it's the is asia's biggest college festival etc mm. i mean there's no metric to even come Uh, come to that conclusion the thing is when you go for interviews outside like even when you sitting for iim interviews or your nmims interview mm. or maybe for some job interview mm. people are not going to know 
कि कौन सा कॉलेज फेस्टिवल कितना बड़ा था या छोटा था हाउ डू यू कम्युनिकेट दिस पैशन और और व्हाट यू लर्न बिकॉज आई थिंक एटलीस्ट फॉर दोज कपल ऑफ टू और थ्री इयर्स आई थिंक दैट वाज ऑलमोस्ट द ओनली थिंग दैट यू डिड राइट लाइक आई सेड प्राइमरी लिल कम फ्रॉम योर ओन एक्सपीरियंस इफ यू नॉट इन्वेस्टेड इन दैट एक्सपीरियंस यू वोट गेट एनी थिंग एनी टू टॉक अबाउट आई वॉज इन्वेस्टेड इन दैट एक्सपीरियंस सो फॉर मी दी ओपनिंग लाइन इज टू बी आई हैव एक्चुअली मैनेज पीपल Uh, 500 people to carry out an event for four months where I didn't pay a single penny to them, and that itself is a story that I can get into and how that happened. What really? How do you do that? What's what is it that made people work? And if you can talk about something like that, you know there is a conversation you already opened up with your interviewer. And the key is that you need to be invested in the activity. If you're just focused, I need another line. In a resume, even for that matter, a course, right? If you're doing a course right now, some if you're learning digital marketing, you better figure out a way to actually implement something, even if it means to work for free for somebody. You know, you go after your right to ten people, you do something maybe for your own building. I will make something as a platform for my building or my society or my college, which will be digitally, you know, involved in some way, and I'll try and implement my learning in that. If you have a story as basic as that. that itself is interesting for the interviewer so my question to you is what made you so invested because a lot of like really young people not just in undergrad even in post grad hmm. who don't like their academics at all it does not make sense to them so extra yeah. curricks is the only relief yeah. but even during extra curricks what is it that makes you so invested like like for example why were you so invested i think i didn't have anything else i mean to, to when you spoke about academics to share uh, in my mba we were 240 students in our batch my rank was 236 or 237 that was the lowest i had in my first uh, semester in my mba i flunked a paper I, some of my friends had to go and you know uh, beg some of our professors ke isko pass kar do because i just was an academic kind of person right so for me uh, I wanted to be in it, and, and the stories made a made a difference for me, and and that's what I would recommend anybody that, even if it's academics, so if academics is of interest and you're really good at it, and that's your goal, then have a story on that. If people want to hear stories. Why we hear content is what it's story, right? So you you want to hear a story, and if my story isn't interesting, you know you won't get enough likes or enough views. But that's not the goal as well. You have your own story, and it's you have to be passionate about building your own story. You don't think about building a career. You have to think about you're building your own story. What is it that you want to talk about when you meet people and tell them about your experience? If there are some anecdote stories from college days that you can tell us, which you still remember. So among the the college festival that we did, the first year I was part of the founding team, but I wasn't the chairperson. Uh, Ruben, who's also the CEO of the company that that we all started, uh, he was the chairperson, and he had a fantastic. team uh the best of our college came together and all of them were seniors were in the last year uh had a fantastic first year it was uh, beyond our expectations when once that got done and uh, i got appointed the chairperson for the next year uh i suddenly realized all the people who actually had the experience of doing that festival <laughs> are moving out because they were in the last year and i pretty much had a, a a completely new team on the first day of the event some things uh, went wrong and uh, i had to go and address 500 people you know because put together volunteers and all students so close to 500 people that get involved uh, and i was in our administrative room and i think i just collapsed and i cried for like 5 minutes i still remember that that you know man worked so hard and what's what the hell's happening here so that's always there at the back of my mind that even during an event when everything was done and we were it seemed like it's falling apart uh and i was so low i kind of was alone by myself nobody saw me and i had to go and then address finer people you know to make sure that they come back next day uh, and deliver a great event so that memory always stays with me whenever i face some sort of failure whenever i face a challenge um and and that's why i said early on when you're invested in the and i keep mentioning this word invested is that you know those experiences will hold you in much more difficult time you know think about kya hai ta festival college festival what is the big deal if i tell anybody you know they won't even relate to it but for me the fact that i was able to come from there and deliver a great event even if it wasn't a great event the fact that i did even if it was a failure that experience would have remained with me like it has now and you know in really challenging times in our lives th- those things would help uh, otherwise kya yaad rakhoge koi college professor padhata tha you know i guess it gives you some because it is in the formative years the confidence uh, that it gives you is it's a different kind of you feel like you can get shit done right yeah 
it, it can also make you very arrogant. That's what happened with me. Uh, it, it made me very arrogant uh, in terms of what I thought I could do after that. Uh, well, but life always, you know, pushes you back in that spot again. And uh, so, that's how so, it is. <laughs> so, so just exploring that a little. When you say that you you became very arrogant after that, yeah. Uh, any anything, uh, any classic. Uh, Arrogant story, arrogant stories that yeah. you... So when I started doing my MBA uh, preparation and, uh, you know, I was stopping my pre-cats and I was like on my high, I have a great CV, I've been a college, you know, leader and whatever, student, uh, you know, a lot of stories. So I am going to go to IIM, clear, hai. it's like that's where I'm going to be. I took some time, I took a year to prepare f to enter the IIMs and I had only filled up the CAT, CAT forms. I didn't fill any other form. So what are you talking? Who's going to fill? I'm going to make it. And my brother made me fill the NMIMS form because it is so close to home. And he said, dude, it's a good college. Kya kya you know, just fill it up. It's just so close to our house as well. Just fill it up. It's not a, it's not a bad college. I said, no, it's a good college, but you like Honda City, I like Ferrari. Pasand hai. So Honda City is a good car, no problem. Nahi hai. But Ferrari is a lot of money, so I'm going to Ferrari. Lene ja raho. As luck would have it, two days before my CAD exam, I, had, uh, I felt extremely ill. Uh, I had 104 fever when I went for my exam. Uh, I had to climb four stories up for my seat, right under a fan. Uh, uh, and you know, which I couldn't get switched off. I was wearing a sweater and a shawl and I was uh, giving my exam. Then a week before was NMIMS entrance. Just one week before, the Sunday before. And then I finished the paper and I said, ha, kya hi to, to hoi jana hai, isme kya hai. It's a cat next week, I'll look at it. And as luck would have it, uh, I only got an admission call from NMIMS. <laughs> I was uh, quite a rebel uh, in NMIMS because I was so angry. I was just angry. I didn't know with what. I, I was just, my arrogance continued that I, you know, I, I'm supposed to be here. Like, like yeah. And that's why you know, on, my, uh, on my yearbook they had written known for crushing question papers and throwing in dustbins. So I had to go and enter an NMIMS. I failed in my first semester. I was so upset. I didn't care for any exam. I would just crush question paper in front of the teacher and throw it in the dustbin. That's ridiculous. <laughs> when did you become less arrogant then? Like, I, at some point you said that, look, I'm in a place that I, I deserve better. I guess essentially that was your... Yeah, you, over, you, you sometimes you emotion. don't know what you're, who are you angry with also, you're just angry. So at some point, uh, I think I, I, got, I got a reality check when I entered my first job. Uh, that movie, uh, Amir Khan ki Rang De Basant, you know, have you guys seen that movie? College de gate de is taraf hum life ko na chaatte hain, te dujji taraf life hum ko na chaatti hai. So he said, na, DJ yaan kuch hai, he doesn't leave college. Yeah. What is the story, he doesn't leave college. <laughs> University se pass out huye, mennu panj saal ho gaya. I'm here only. Like a DJ, there is a lot of work. But in the I entered my, my boss, asked me to do something, and I didn't know how to do it. I then go and find some information about competition, and I was in a bank, so I was in a bank, so I was in a bank. And I think I wasted two days figuring and when he came to my desk, what the fuck is going on? So I kind of used that flex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? No filter. And uh, I think that was another day I kind of, uh, I didn't cry but I was almost like, you know, DJ Nikal gave college. Tim lak lak te, tim lak lak. And then I think that, that, that really, that 18 months in my uh, job, Really grounded. Which me. company did you join? Uh, BNP Paribas. And, uh, the, and all my family used to think I've joined PNB. PNB, Punjab National Bank, but yes, <laughs> it's, it's BNP. Uh, so, French bank. French bank. So, yeah, that was my reality check. So, I just believe that uh, I want to be in a company that would value something beyond academics. In fact, I remember one particular uh, campus uh, process I was part of. I think about 110 of us applied. I went through one round, second round, third round, made it to the last seven. So, I had a good interview. At the end, they said anything you want to say or something like that they said. And I, I, or I don't know what happened to me. I said, I want to thank, you know, the fact that you guys all gave me the opportunity. I'm really excited because uh, I'm like in the last five of my batch in terms of my academics. And uh, I really want to be with a company, you know, who doesn't care for academics and, <laughs> <laughs> and you know, really values the, the person inside. And I went on like two, three minutes like this. 
and then i came out and then one of the guys who was on the interview panel was the young guy he came out and said give me a call sometime later so i got excited i mujhe phone phone karne ke liye so i excitedly two three days later called him back he said when you sit in front of people who spend all their life trying to come first you can't tell them that academics means nothing <laughs> <laughs> and i i didn't get the job you must be thinking another pre roll wait let me just skip it With all theory, there are some boring things which you can avoid, like the long wait for promotions or increments, or the numerous interviews before you land your dream job. At all theory, we make sure that you're future ready and skilled to be in the top 0.5% class. Click on the link in the description now.